And we have new details about the bus drivers fired by Tulsa Transit yesterday. The bus service estimates three of them embezzled almost $38,000. News on 6 reporter Emery Bryan has the live update here at 6. Emery? And that's not all that was taken because three of the other drivers were allowed to pay their money back in exchange for the city not pressing charges against them. But all of these bus drivers have uh, gotten lawyers and they want to fight to get their jobs back. Tulsa Transit discovered it had a problem late last week and by Monday morning was questioning drivers about unusual numbers of courtesy passes that came from their buses. The passes are printed out from the fare box on each bus at the driver's discretion for passengers on buses that are delayed. For most drivers, that's not a lot of coupons, but one driver is accused of printing almost 9,000 coupons in the last three and a half months. According to police records, the transit service has video of drivers printing off tickets without any passengers on the bus. Three drivers were arrested. Investigators believe it started at least four months ago, which sources say was discovered when the free passes were being sold with bus drivers accused of pocketing the money. Driver Lawrence Morgan is accused of printing 630 coupons with a value of $2,200. Officer said he admitted printing off the coupons but denied knowing he was doing anything wrong and stated he was trained that way. Justin Copeland is accused of printing 1,255 coupons valued at $4,392. Kenneth Speed is accused of printing 8,911 coupons with a value of $31,188. The officers who arrested him said he admitted printing the coupons but also denied knowing it was wrong. All three drivers face felony complaints of embezzlement. One is recognizable as the face of MTTA. Hi, I'm Justin. I drive a bus with Thompson Transit. Come on board. I have a fantastic job, a good salary, free health and dental insurance, and an opportunity to make up to $50,000 per year. Now the three men who were arrested have all bonded out of jail. Their court dates have not yet been set. Emory Bryan, News on 6.